Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert, and I want to talk about strip silence. And I want to give you a couple of workflow tricks I found that make it a much easier experience than just going for the standard workflow. Now, strip silence is a great feature that enables you to, if you've got, let's say, dialogue that you've recorded and you want to get all the silences out, you can do that. You can deep breathe vocals. Uh, you can get, in this case, I've got a bass guitar that's got slides and all sorts of clicks and bangs as the fingers are moving around the, the, the notes. So this is the track I want to go through this with. The first one I'm going to do is just solo it so you can hear it on its own and then we can start the process. So at the moment, let's just have a listen to this, it sounds like. You can actually see there in the, in the waveform, there's, there's things going on further down, there's all sorts of. So there's this area here that's, that could be cleaned up. Now strip silence, if you want to use it, you come up here and on the toolbar there it is there and it's there and it's also here on the I'm in the edit window here because I've double clicked on the audio down because it's just bigger and you can see it and it's got a quite a lot of presets that you can work with so I'd like to go I'd say uh, little silence and I could set that and it sets a, a predetermined set of parameters and I press apply on this piece of audio and you see it's chopped it all up uh, and it's done other things as well. So it's it's applied it applied a fade in and a fade out that's that's the the same as the pre and the post roll. So it's linked there, and you can unlink that and do it, do it your own way. I have to say that the presets are pretty good, but one of the things that I find slightly frustrating, and uh, I wish it did it, is a kind of preview mode. Now I'm used to working in Pro Tools, and when you do strip silence, this would give you a preview before you even hit the apply button. Now the great thing about strip silence in Studio One is it's non-destructive, you can keep going around in circles until you find it, but one workflow enhancement I found that's really, really useful is this, is that what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna press the Alt key, grab the audio here and just pull it off for a second and pull it back. That now means I've got two layers. I've got this layer, I've got a layer beneath it. The first thing I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna change that to be red or something quite, quite clear that I know is definitely going to be seen between that layer and the second layer. So now there's the red layer there. Now, the reason I do that is very simple. It means that if I then apply strip silence, uh, let me put it into some kind of, I'm gonna put it into noise floor. It should be quite extreme. I'm also gonna get this pre-roll and these down to zero and the minimum length down to there. Press apply. Now, what happens is when I do that, I can now see behind any remnants of audio that it might have chopped, I can see what's left. And I find that really helpful because it means that I can go and do, just keep, do some checks. So what I'm gonna do again, go to, I'm gonna go to lots of silence and press apply again. And then go to go through and start doing some stuff here. So my minimum length, I'm gonna make that about a second. Let's try that. And as you can see, as I start going through, it just makes things uh, slightly easier to do. I'm going to do some pre-roll and post-roll now. So I'm going to put 0 0.05 and 0 0.05 there. And the fades are going to follow that too. Press apply. And as you can see, the more I do that, I can still see the stuff that's left. Now also, when you do this as well, you can then also hear it or not hear it. And if I play it at the moment, what do you do? There's a, that thing. However, if I get the the mute option and mute the back audio, I can only hear now the strip silence version. Again here. So the great thing is I can see what's missing, but I don't have to hear it anymore. And that's really helpful. And as I say, it's one of those things that I find really useful. So you can all that mess there and again turn it back off again. There's the original with it in. 
So they're kind of audition. So I find that really useful to build a second layer and work like that. So here we are again with the clean version. What I can do now is I think I'm getting close to what I want. So if I press apply now, that's done a pretty good job. And the great thing is now, that again, I can come in with the M key. Just have a quick listen to that, those differences there. I like that. And when I've got what I want, instead of pressing the M key, I just press the choose that layer and delete it. And I'm left with the audio that has had strip silence applied to it. So there we are. That's using strip silence in Studio One. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.